Don't be afraid to die. If there's one piece of advice that I could give to new players or PVMers, it's that. Don't be afraid to die. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't run away from her shadow and it literally just makes me want to break my freaking monitor in half. Cool, second kill in. I got a nice death coming in. Thank you very much. Nope, wait, no, no. Oh my God, bro, what? <laughs> so yeah, as you can see in the clips I just played for you, I am literally the master of dying, but I'm not afraid to die. At the end of the day, you're only going to be able to do the good things in this game if you're willing to die. But as a new player, you've got one thing on your side. Your death costs are extremely cheap, which means you should be putting yourself out there and taking as many chances as you can. But in the likely event you don't want to die, I've got a few tips for you if you're learning to do a new boss. Tip number one, don't eat your way through mechanics you don't know. Now I learned this lesson the hard way. You can see in the video playing here that I brought a yak to Nex. Although it was a, it was an empty yak, I don't know what I'm doing. Probably shouldn't take advice from me, but whatever. Here's the thing though, about doing something like this versus taking something that would have helped me further the kill, like a Nihil to improve my accuracy against this boss. By constantly just shoving food in my face and trying to out eat Nex's hits, I'm actually suffering in quite a few ways. By constantly spamming food, I'm missing out on DPS that I could be doing to the boss in order to kill it a lot quicker, prolonging the kill and just making me eat more. Furthermore, food in this game is not cheap. Sailfish are currently between six and 7,000 GP each. Every single one of those that I eat is money I'm losing. If I ate 100 fish in an hour, that's basically a death cost right there with the armor I'm wearing and I'm not learning how to avoid different mechanics. I'm not learning to pray devotion during specific times or hit next with a debilitate. I'm just simply eating my way through the boss fight, hoping to get to the end and make money. But that's the problem with this logic. You're never going to properly learn what you're doing unless you put your best foot forward and don't be afraid to die. Now I make this mistake all the time. You can see it right here in this video, but it's a habit I'm trying to break away from. If you die, that's okay. All of your favorite YouTubers and streamers are dying, or they have died at some point in time, because learning something new is going to require failure. That's a part of it. Tip number two. Practice mode is a thing. Use it. I don't know exactly how many people even realize that this is a thing, but just about every single boss has the ability to use this. Go ahead and create an instance like normal and you'll notice there's a little checkbox that says practice mode. So while inside of this, you are totally safe. Any supplies that you use will be used in the real game, but if you die, nothing happens. You can see at the end of this clip here, I spawn right outside of Raksha's instance. I spawned right at the door where I made the instance to begin with. I could go right back in and do this over and over and it would cost me absolutely nothing except for supplies if I use them. This is a fantastic low risk way to avoid death. If you mess up, simply go bank and do it over and over again. The only caveat to this is if you kill the boss, you do not gain loot in the real world, which may seem like a downside to some people, but when you stack that up against what it actually costs for you to learn how to do this boss and all the deaths you're gonna take, learning how to do it for basically free seems to be more of a reward. So practice mode's a thing, definitely use it, especially if you have no idea what you're walking into, just do it. Tip number three ask for help. There seems to be this misconception around RuneScape 3 that everybody is out to get you. And while there is a small percentage of elitists that will just flame you for whatever you do or make fun of you for not being as good as they are, that's simply not the case for about 99% of the people that I've met in this game so far. The community in RuneScape 3 is honestly way better than I ever would have thought, and people are more than willing to help if you ask. People are always looking for new friends and new people to do bosses with, whether it be in clan chats, asking around on YouTube, hopping into Twitch or YouTube streams. People are more than willing to help. As long as you have 
avoid the people who are toxic or people you don't want to associate with and build up actual friends along the way, you're always going to have people that you surround yourself with that are wanting to help you learn these things because it in turn helps them. If somebody teaches you how to do a boss, all of a sudden they've got a duo partner to go with whenever you both are available. It's a win-win scenario and I think the community is kind of hurting for it right now. So if you need help with a particular boss, just ask. Leave a comment down below and I guarantee people are willing to help. If not, I'll go find the answer myself and try to help you. Asking for help is always a good thing. And most bosses in this game can be killed in a duo. So don't be afraid to reach out. But anyway, I hope that these tips helped you. I hope you go out there and try to learn new things and get experienced in bosses you are otherwise uncomfortable with. I'm still learning how to do new stuff every single day. And I've even tried my hand at live streaming some of it. And I gotta say like most people are extremely supportive. I'll get the occasional like bro you're so bad or blah blah blah. But honestly, that is not representative of this community. Everybody wants to help each other learn. So I hope you go out there and die. Just kidding. Love you all. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.